Sharon McConnell Fiani from Shakti Mind Body Fitness. A physical building, Shakti Mind Body Fitness, that was at Bedford Park for 10 years, is no longer around. But the brand Shakti Mind Body Fitness is alive and well, and I plan to have it around for a long time. To have. My dream was to open a pure yoga center in Jamaica 11 years ago, which I did for about five years, but it was way ahead of its time. I, my dream was pure yoga. Nobody in Jamaica really knew what yoga was. I was, you know, people thought we were doing obia or starting a cult or religion so now yoga is mainstream but it took a long time for Shakti to get off the ground so during that time I expanded it into what I call total mind body fitness and we specialized in spinning indoor cycling and all types of fitness modalities but everything had a yoga base everything was based on the breath everything was based about based in love and in giving so it was a really special place you know, I think in a lot of ways it was a really wise move right now in the economy that we're in and in the stage of the life, uh, stage of life that I'm at. You know, I, I had to make a big decision. Do I expand and grow, invest more money, more time, more energy, or do I take an opportunity to pull back now and focus on what is really, really important to me right now, which is my kids. The reality was my husband was working in Montego Bay. He had gotten a really good opportunity to work in, in Mo Bay and we were doing the commuting thing for three years. I had, this started when my last baby was a year old and I had a, you know, a baby, a four-year-old and a ten-year-old at the time. I, I decided to just make a life choice. It wasn't a financial decision. It was not any other reason that I decided I needed a shift in my life and my kids needed it too. And I realized, wow, I'm missing out on a lot here and I just began to see that, you know, this is also yoga too, you know. When I made the decision and the announcement to close down, I was, I of course I expected people to be sad and upset and, you know, even angry or, you know, shocked. But the outpouring of love and the stories of the lives that we touched at Shakti, even people had never stepped through the door. You know, the thing is with Shakti, there were never any barriers. You know, when you walked into Shakti, you were just this light. We saw light. So whether you were rich or poor, you were fat or thin, you were black or white or old or young, whatever it was, we just saw you as this light. And our job, our mission was to just keep this light burning bright. You know, people always ask me, you know, what would you do if you didn't have Jack? And I always said I would want to go back to school. So I'm studying a bit now, but most of all I'm being with my family. and. My, parents, my kids call me a stay-at-home mom now, and I find that the hugest honor. So I'm still with my yoga, teaching my yoga, of course. I'm still with my retreats and my workshops. I'm still very involved in the Caribbean Yoga Conference, which before we know it will be here. I miss my Shakti family. I miss that energy. You know, it, it will come back, but it's always there in my